I mean, there's a whole bunch of motherfuckers out there that are working through their fucking hard times. There are fucking sharks out there that never fucking stop. They never stop eating, ever. And that's who you're competing with. And this idea of participation trophies, you know, everybody has the opportunity to win. And this that's all fucking bullshit. Okay, there are fucking killers out there in business that never stop, okay? So that's what you're up against. So your healing and your fucking personal time and all your shit, just understand it's going to cost you. I don't get burned out because I stay focused on the fucking shit that I need to stay focused on, which is being the best that I can be. You know, the reason that you're burned out, bro, is because you're complacent right now. When you understand that you're in the game and there's sharks in the water and you're fucking bleeding, guess what? You ain't got time for a motherfucking mental break. That's how it works. And so if you can't operate in that, guys, you're just going to have a very hard time. We live by the narrative of other people. When I first called a recruiter to be a Navy SEAL and I was 297 pounds, the first recruiter looked at me and said, you're not going to be able to make this, man. So what he was doing was he was projecting his energy on me. He knew he couldn't be a fucking Navy SEAL. So God helped this black guy, because I was only the 36th African-American to make it through in over 70 years. How's this black fat guy gonna make it through in my ass? He wasn't even willing to try. So he's projecting it. So a lot of us who are negative people, all we do is project how we feel on other people. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what race you are, what gender you are. It doesn't matter who your fucking parents are. Dude, we can make every excuse in the book, but I promise you for every excuse you can make, there are literally thousands of people who had it harder than you that have done what the fuck you want to do. I had to stop caring what people thought about me. I realized that everybody's fucked up. That's the one thing I realized. I walked around and I put these people on a, on a fucking pedestal. Everybody was better than me. So I can't tell you anything about me because you're going to judge me and I'm going to feel even worse than what I am. What I realized, once I calmed my mind down and sat back and looked at how jacked up this world is, once you realize that you are not alone, everybody that's talking to you about how jacked up you are, only thing they've done better than you is they've hidden their fucked up world better than you have. That's all they've done. Do you want to win or do you not want to win? Do you want to be the best or do you not want to be? Do you want to be a weapon or do you want to be a soft fucking spoon? It ain't for everybody. Don't fucking do it if you're a spoon. You don't have any real hard problems. Most of you listening live in America. Most of you are watching this on a fucking $2,000 computer or a $1,000 iPhone. You're telling me you got real motherfucking problems? You have all the opportunity in the fucking world and you don't have enough real problems and you're finding shit to complain about because everybody else is complaining. This young man wants to be a ranger. But he's afraid to go to ranger school. Not because how hard the training is, but because he's afraid if he fails, what people are gonna say by judging him. One thing in life, this applies to everything in life. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like that shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're gonna judge you. And nowadays, it's very easy to be a fucking coward. Why? We got Instagram and shit. Most folks don't tell you to your face. They go online. They post about like cowards. Don't let cowards get in your fucking head. You know, what really happens in society right now is people don't do shit. They don't take care of their fucking food. They don't take care of their bodies. They don't test themselves mentally. They, they don't, they kind of like live with no urgency and they just kind of float through, right? And then all this shit builds up and it starts to affect them negatively. And then they get like frustrated and then they gotta take a break. Well, you just took a break from taking a break. Bro, you weren't even taking care of yourself and you need a break from that? Come on, dude. There's a major part of society that feels entitled to the fucking life people who have given their entire fucking lives to build shit have for, for doing nothing. And dude, it will never be that way. Well, motherfucker, yeah, you'd be equally fucking broke. There is nothing more noble than someone who is committed to being the best fucking version of themselves. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that we have nowadays, that's yeah, great. We're up to date, we, you know, you, but your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, when you're going through death, real life. Sh you can't Google that, man. You're alone. 
You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to. You may have a best friend you're going to. But there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're you got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. What existed for me was okay, man. How am I going to make this work? And, I, and all I knew back then was hard work. The only way anything gets accomplished, that's all I heard back in those days. You got to work hard. You got to work hard. I'm not getting how to. I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the f is in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read it again. Still not getting it. Read it again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't. I got to write out everything I do. And then write it out again. And write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it. I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back until this just becomes, your mind was safe. Okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. It's not like I'm gonna try one more time. No, I'm gonna. It's just like alarm clock goes off. Boop. We're going back. I can't read right. We're going back. I gave myself no way out, and my mind realized that. They said, okay, we're gonna adapt and overcome now. If you really wanna change your life, if you really wanna be better, if you truly wanna transform, the easiest way that I can explain this to you is to start realizing that you are paying a price for your decisions today, you're just not seeing them for 90 days. Now, when you realize this, and you abide by this, and you live by this, amazing things start to happen. This is how you're going to start to build the things that you want to build. The work you did today, the effort you put in today, the, the, the investment you made today, you might call it a sacrifice. I call it an investment. So if I'm getting a payoff, it's not a sacrifice. So the investments that you make today are going to pay off long term. Why are you letting yourself off the hook over and over and over again? Would it help for you to think about it and would it help you stick to a program if you understood the day you traded today is actually going to be a day that you get back three months from now. What are you gonna get back three months from now? If you wanna be great, if you wanna get the recognition, if you wanna get fucking paid, if you want all of the things that you dream about, there is only one way to guarantee that you will have those things, only one. And that is becoming so fucking good at what you do, no matter what it is you do, that it is undeniable that other people recognize how great you are. Because becoming undeniable is not something that sticks with you in a certain role. It's a character trait that you fucking develop. That means any place that you are put, you will put in the work, you will learn the skills, you will improve your arsenal to become the undeniable best in that role. And if you have that attitude to where it doesn't matter if you're cooking French fries or you're making $10 billion business deals, you are going to be the absolute best that you can fucking be 